Good afternoon. We just finished up Unit 14, which was all about graphs and making a graph, whether it's with pictures or maybe a bar graph or maybe with some tally marks. And that was kind of fun. You know, we made sure we had a little fun with some crayons, some colored pencils and stuff. And today we're starting a new unit and we're talking about shapes. And it says that we are learning about plane shapes. And a plane shape is something that is two-dimensional, which is flat. So it, it, it'll, uh, you can always see how tall it is and also how wide it is. So top and bottom, left to right, that's all we're dealing with with these shapes. That's what two-dimension means. And so let's go through our shapes and make sure that we know what they are. First, we have a triangle, which has three sides. So we have, look, one, two, and the third side there. So it takes three lines to make a triangle. And remember, it always has three points also. So there's a point there, there's a point there, and a point here. So make sure you know what triangles are, and make sure that you know how many sides that a triangle has. That is super important. Next, we have a circle. And as you can see, a circle is round, and it has no sides. It really doesn't. It doesn't have any flat sides like a triangle does. See, a triangle has like these three sides. A circle is just, it's round. So there's no flat sides on it. And next we have a fancy shape called a hexagon. This might sound a little confusing because it's a goofy word. But don't worry, I'm going to tell you what hexagon means or what it is. I'll tell you what each part means. So hex... H-E-X means six. So they're telling us it has six sides. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. See, there are six flat sides to make this shape. That's what a hexagon is. Always has six sides. If you're never sure what shape it is, you always count the sides on it. And that's it. Now the next one, you might have seen it before. It has a pretty silly name. I actually really like this name. It's, it's fun. It's a trapezoid. And what a trapezoid is, is that it has four sides. One, two, three, four. So we got the four, we have four sides. But it, it's not the same as a rectangle or a square. Because see how this side with the number 4 on it and the side with the number 2 aren't the same size? They have a different length going from left to right? Since they are different, we cannot call it a rectangle or square. So it's called a trapezoid. I mean... The sides with the 1 and the 3, they are the same size. And that's fine. But since the top and bottom are so different, the, the where the 4 is and where the 2 is, since they're so different, we cannot call it a rectangle or a square. It is a trapezoid. Okay? So try not to forget this word. I know it's kind of goofy and... Um, and maybe you never heard of it before, but that's okay. We're going to be saying these shape names a lot. So let's go through them again real quick before we move on. So with three sides, one, two, three, we have a triangle. With no flat sides, we have a circle. Just keeps going around and around. And then with six flat sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, we have a hexagon, because hex means six. And this last one with four sides, but two of the sides aren't the same. They are completely different, so we call it a trapezoid. Now, let's move on to the last two shapes for us to know before we start working. Last two shapes that we're 
working with today, and these two I know you are all familiar with. So we have a rectangle, which has two very long sides. See how the top and bottom are very long? So let, let's number them first. So one, two, three, and four. So it has four sides, but they're not all the exact same size for each side, right? They're not all the same length. So side two and four, they're the same. And then side one and three are the same. But three and four, they're totally different. Okay, but since each side has a friend they can pair up with, we can now call it a rectangle. And last, we have a square. And let's number these sides. See how many sides the square has. It has one, two, three, and four. So a square has four sides, but they are all the same. All the same. I put an exclamation point at the end because that's super important. Uh, a square has all the same size sides. So every, every line, every wall in the square is exactly the same as the other. One is the same as three. One is also the same as four and two. They're all the same. Okay? So that's what you know, is the big difference between a square and any other shape that has four sides. So for this next part, I would really love for you to grab uh, any crayons you have and just a, a spare scrap piece of paper. It doesn't have to be anything special because this next part, I would love for you to do it with me, but you do not have to turn it in. I just want you guys to, uh, you know, instead of just sitting there watching, I would really like for you to do this next part with me. And you don't need anything special to do it. Just a piece of paper that you can find lying around anywhere around the house and a, a crayon. Any crayon you want or if you want to use multiple colors. So uh, go ahead, pause the video, go get your stuff, and then come right back and hit play. All right. So if... You have this video playing right now. I am assuming you went and got everything all set. All right, so let's get working. This is going to be fun. So now that we know all the shapes. Oh, no. Now that we know all the shapes, let's see what they want us to do and see if we can do it. Like awesome mathematicians. So, no, this number five one right here. I know we skipped a few. We're jumping straight to five. It says draw a square. So on your own, real quick, I'll give you guys a couple seconds. Draw a square on your paper. Just draw a square. Doesn't have to take up the whole entire paper. Don't have it take up the whole page. Just like on the little part, just draw a little square. All right, so that should have been enough time because we're just drawing little shapes. So your square should look just like this. Have one, two, three, four sides, and they're all about the same size. I mean, it's okay if your drawing isn't perfect. It doesn't have to be, but just make sure it does not look like this. I'm going to put it in a different color. Make sure it does not look like this. That isn't a square, and this is not a square. Okay? These are not what we want. Make sure yours looks like this. Okay? Try your best. Let's go to the next one. Number six says, draw a trapezoid. Now, this was the goofy shape that we talked about on the other page. Now, I would like for you to try your best to draw what a trapezoid looks like. Alright, I'm just going to give you guys a couple seconds. Draw what a trapezoid looks like.
All right, that should be enough time. So your trapezoid should look like this. Remember, it has four sides. Okay, so you should be able to number four sides on it. It's going to have a weird angle on it for the one side. And then there's a small roof on it. And then it goes out to the side again. And then goes across. Or another way you could do it is just like this. You draw a short line, then a long line underneath, and then draw from end to end. Okay? So there's a couple ways you can draw it. Whichever way it works for you is fine. Just make sure it does not look like this. We do not want this. That's not a trapezoid. We don't want that. We want these. These are trapezoids. You have a small roof, a long floor, and two sides that connect from end to end. And that's it. Okay, next, try to draw a rectangle for me. Draw a rectangle. Just give you guys a couple seconds. All right, I think that was enough time. So your rectangle should look just like this. Ready? The sure, it's very short, but it goes a long way across. The other side is short, and then goes a long way back. That's a rectangle. Now, as long as the the top and bottom lines are super long, and the ends are short, they're not they're not tall, then you drew a rectangle. Now what we do not want to see is this. This is not a rectangle, okay? Because this has all even sides. This is a square. So we do not want this for our rectangle, okay? We want this shape here. Okay, for this next one, it says draw a hexagon. This one can be tricky. It can be tricky, I'm not going to lie. Um, I have trouble drawing this sometimes. So don't worry if yours isn't perfect. I'm going to give you a couple seconds to, to try your best to draw a hexagon. All right, I think that might be enough time. Hopefully your hexagon looks like this, where we have an angle. And then it goes straight for a little bit. It goes back up on an angle. And then it kind of goes the other way on an angle. It goes across a little bit. And then it goes back down. See, mine isn't perfect. It is absolutely not perfect, and that's okay. Because this is a very tricky shape. So don't think that yours has to be, you know, this amazing piece of art. It doesn't. And you can still see it has one, two, three, four, five. It still has six sides. So as long as it has six sides, you have a hexagon. So do not worry. Okay? Now, let's get your math workbooks. So, you need the black math workbook with a blue butterfly on it. And we're going to open up to page 15-1. I'm going to show you exactly what it should look like. This is the page you should be on, okay? At the very top, it says... Oh, goodness, that was an awful line. So at the top it says reteaching, then 15-1. So if you don't have your book yet, pause the video, go get your book. Go get it. So you can do it with me. We'll do it, do this together, all right? So that way you can check your work, make sure you have the right answers, and make sure you understand what we're doing. All right, so if you have your book, let's see what they have here. So they did us a huge favor, and they already gave us all these shapes up top. In case we forgot what they looked like. We have a circle, a square, triangle, 
rectangle, trapezoid, and hexagon. So remember, each one has special amount of sides. So a square has four sides, a triangle has three sides, a rectangle also has four, trapezoid has four, hexagon has six. Does the circle have any flat sides? Nope. Zero flat sides. So we're going to look down the paper at number one and see what they're having us do. Okay. I think you guys are going to do pretty awesome on this. Make sure you still have those crayons with you that you were just using. Okay, because it says color the shapes that are the same. So it doesn't matter if they're, you know, different sizes, as long as they're the same shape. So see how for number one, this shape is the same as this one. They're both squares. So you would color both of them in. So you can just go ahead and color in both of them. Doesn't have to be pretty. We're just coloring, coloring, color, 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 color. And then after you color the shapes that are the same, you circle what shape it is. These aren't triangles, because that's the triangle right there with three sides, so it can't be this one. It is a square. They are squares, so we circle it. All right, now try number two on your own. Find the two shapes that are the same and color them in. After you do that, tell me what the name of that shape is. Is it a square or a circle? I'll give you guys a couple seconds to do that one. All right, I think that should be enough time. Remember, your coloring doesn't have to be super fancy. Just kind of like color it in quick, whatever shapes are the same. Okay, so if you're not done yet, just pause the video and finish your work and then hit play. So the two shapes that are the same are, well, are there any, we have a square. Is there another square to go with it? Nope, so it can't be this one. What about this triangle? Do we have another triangle to go with it? We don't, so it cannot be triangle, but guess what? We have these circles right here. We have two circles, so we can go ahead and color them in. And what are they called again? They're called circles, so we circle that answer. All right, now try number three on your own. Find the two shapes that are the same and tell me if the shapes that are the same are hexagons or are they trapezoids. Just to give you guys a couple seconds. Remember, just do some uh, fast coloring and you can always go back and make it you know, fancier afterwards. Okay, I think that should be enough time. If you're not done, like before, just pause the video, and when, you, when you're all finished, hit play. All right, so let's start from this end. Do we have, well, this is a hexagon, right? Because it has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. It has six sides. Do we see another shape with six sides? No, so it can't be this one. 
What about, ooh, what about this one? It has two short sides and two long sides. Do we see another one of those? No, not really, because, I mean, this has two sides that are the same, but then the top and bottom are different. So it can't be a rectangle. So it has to be this guy. And what's this one called? It's called a trapezoid. So we can go ahead and color them in. And you know what? Let me use a different color. There we go. I'll use blue. Color them in because this is the shape that we want. And then we circle our answer. Is this shape called a hexagon or trapezoid? It's called a trapezoid. Because remember, a hexagon has six sides. It's like we didn't color in a shape that has six sides. All right. So now that we did this little practice together about being able to identify shapes and, and know what their names are, let's turn the page over and I will explain your assignment for today. Okay, everyone, this is your assignment for today. Your paper should say practice at the top and have the numbers 15-1. And it's very similar to what we started the lesson off with where it just asks you to draw the shape. It gives you the name and you draw the shape. So number one says draw a rectangle. Number two says draw a square. Number three says to draw a triangle. And number four says to draw a hexagon. All right, just do your best trying to draw the shapes. Some of them can get tricky, I know. Just try your best. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't look perfect or it's not the most gorgeous shape you've ever seen in your life, it's okay. All right? Don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Just try your best. And let's see what they have us do at the bottom. All right, so number five, it says geometry. And I know it sounds like a scary word, but guess what? That's what we're doing. Geometry just means... Uh, math about shapes. That's it. So number five says, I am not a rectangle. I am not a triangle. What shape am I? So it's a little bit of a riddle. So they show you these four shapes and it says, I am not a rectangle. Okay. It's clue number one. I am not a triangle. What shape am I? All right. So it's a little bit of a brain teaser. Do your best. And this last one, you guys are going to do awesome at it because we talked about something very similar a few months ago in science, right? Where it was patterns. We talked all about patterns when we were talking about the seasons. So this says which shape comes next in the pattern. So we have trapezoid, triangle, triangle, trapezoid, triangle, triangle, trapezoid, triangle, triangle. What comes next in this space right there? What shape is it? And it color shade in your answer. Okay. And that's it. That's your assignment for today. So as soon as you're done, make sure you send a picture to your teacher and uh, if you have questions, of course, ask your teacher. I hope you guys are enjoying geometry so far, enjoying shapes. I hope that you're not getting a little, little nervous. If you're nervous, you know, talk to your teacher about it. <laughs> All right. And, um, you know, don't worry. It's, this is going to be a fun, fun unit. I promise. So uh, don't forget to do those things. And I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great one.